Hello, welcome back to Painting and Decorating. You'll have to excuse me uh, voice, I've got a bit of a chest infection, hoping it's not the uh, coronavirus. Anyway, um, I keep getting asked what I use to seal knots on wood. There's a few methods you can use. You can use aluminium wood primer, which is really good, but it's grey, so if you go in white, it can be a bit difficult at times. You can use bin primer, but I've had a few problems with bin primer, so I've gone back to my old method of just using a knotting solution. Let's have a look. Like I was saying, you can use bin primer, but I've had a few problems on jobs with this. I've used it exactly as it says, and I've spot primed and then I've put a full coat on. And I've gone back to jobs and I can see the knots coming back through. So basically, I've been that. I don't use that anymore for sealing knots. You can use the aluminium wood primer, but I've not got any to show you. Um, I'll, I'll do that in another video sometime. But this is what I use now. A knotting solution. Now this is... Um, shellac knotting and it's actually made from the shellac beetle they crush them up and then add them to methylated spirits that's what you thin it with now what I usually do is I'll have an old bottle and I just have a little bit in it because there's no point in you working out of something like that and it does evaporate quite quickly, so pouring it into a pot isn't the best thing. You're better having it in something small, less evaporation. Right. Uh. So, using a small brush, don't need anything big. What you want to do when you're covering the knots, make sure you go over the area and then some because it can seep through and weep around when you put the knotting on. Now, this knotting it dries really quickly with it being methylated spirits. I'll do for the first coat. Always make sure you spread it out nicely because there is no sand in this really. Um, otherwise you'll just sand through it and it's pointless putting it on. So I'm going to leave that now drying for about 15 minutes and then I'll come back to it. <laughs> That's dry now. Like I was saying before, you can't sand it. You can maybe give it a light key, but a very light key. You're usually better making sure your wood is nice and smooth before you put the knotting on. And then apply a second coat. And what you're trying to do is just lay it on nicely. You don't want to be scrubbing it about because knotting is a reversible coat so basically if you do too much scrubbing about all you'll be doing is working up the coat that you've already put on so again that's its second coat and I'm now going to leave that for another 15 minutes right that's dry again so final coat Make sure you put plenty on. Now 
Now let's add three coats now. Now that should be sufficient enough for the knot not to bleed through. Once that's fully dry, that can be overcoated with water-based paints or oil-based paints. Thank <laughs> you.